Hey, you guys, I'm just jumping on really quick to share with you all a quick word. I just got back from, you know, making an errand. I ran to the store real quick to get my daughter some medicine because she's under weather. So I got her some cough medicine, some cough drops and some little snacks. You know how we parents do when our kids are sick. And so I, as I was getting back in the car and heading back home, the words dropped into my spirit. You're going to look crazy until it happens. You're going to look crazy until it happens. And this word, this message is for kingdom wives who are standing for your kingdom husbands, your prodigal husbands. God has revealed to you who your kingdom spouse is and he has called you in this season of your life to stand, to pray, to intercede, to begin to speak it into existence. The marriage prophecy that he spoke over your life, okay? And so God dropped into my spirit the story of Noah. And I'm laughing, you guys. It's just so funny how the Lord kind of just revealed it to me. And how God told Noah that he was getting ready to destroy the earth. And he found Noah to be righteous. So he decided to spare Noah and his family. But he gave Noah instructions to build an ark and he gave him all the you know instructions he needed as far as the measurements and what material he needed in order to build this ark because he was getting ready to destroy the world by water. He was going to cause this flood. So I began to think in my mind and putting myself in Noah's position in the days that we live in now. Imagine yourself, God telling you to build this ark. You have neighbors, you have people all around you that are going to be looking at you, witnessing you building this ark. And you're coming outside and you see your neighbor or whomever outdoors working on this this boat, right? This ark. And this is not just no normal little boat. I mean, you know, if, if, if this person was building just a little boat, it probably wouldn't raise any suspicion. You probably would not be concerned about it. But this is a massive, this is a massive boat. This is a ark, right? So you're coming outside and you're seeing this person working on this ark. And perhaps at first you may look and kind of just think to yourself, you know, what are they doing? This person is crazy, whatever the case may be. You may go about your business. But as time passes and you see this boat progressing, you're going to want to ask questions. So you go over to this person and you're like, okay, what are you doing? Why are you building this boat? Why are you building this massive ark? And this neighbor, this person, whomever it is, they disclose to you that, yeah, I'm building this ark because God is getting ready to flood the earth. What's the first thought that's going to pass through your mind? This person is crazy. This person is insane. What's going on here? God is what? He's getting ready to what? No, you know, this person is out of their mind. So you think about this and you go back to Noah's time. Noah had friends. Noah had neighbors that were probably around him. Okay, his wife had friends. His sons had friends. Okay, people knew who Noah was. So I'm quite sure, even though the Bible doesn't go into detail, I'm quite sure other people saw Noah building this massive ark and they had questions. And if God permitted Noah to let them know, hey, I'm building this ark because God is getting ready to destroy the earth. And just imagine the thoughts that may have crossed their minds as Noah was explaining to them why he was building this ark. And I'm quite sure, just like yourself, if it was you in that situation, they were thinking the same thing. Like, you're crazy. You're insane. You're a lunatic. Like, there's no way, no how. God is getting ready to flood this earth. He's not getting ready to destroy the entire mankind. You're crazy, Noah. What are you doing? But yet, and still, Noah continued to be obedient and do what God asked. And the same thing for kingdom marriage and kingdom wives that are standing for your kingdom husband. Other people on the outside looking in, 
they're going to think that you're crazy. They're going to think that you don't know what you're talking about. They're going to think that you didn't hear from God, that you're in delusion, that you're just making all of this up. Now, I will say this. There are many that are in delusion and God did not tell them that that particular person is their husband, okay? But you have to know that you know and God is going to give you confirmation whether or not this particular person is your husband. And you have to stand on God's word. You know what God said. You know whether or not you're in delusion or if you're standing on God's promise to you. You know because the spirit of God is going to reveal that to you. But nonetheless... People that are on the outside looking in, they're going to think that you're crazy. They're not going to understand why you're standing. They're not going to understand why you're praying for this person, why you're waiting for this person. Uh, they're not going to understand it because God did not give them the revelation. God did not tell them, hey, that's, you know, such and such husband. He didn't give the re revelation to them. He gave the revelation to you. So you can't expect other people to understand your journey. You can't expect other people to understand why you're standing and interceding for a particular person because you're going to look crazy until it happens. Just like Noah may have looked crazy until it started raining. And when it started raining, by then it was too late. God's plan wasn't to save anyone else besides Noah and his family. So he did not disclose to anyone else that he was getting ready to flood the earth. Just like God is not going to tell everybody about what he told you because it was meant for you only. It was the revelation was meant for you only. So to anybody on the outside looking in, they're not going to understand. Don't expect them to understand. Don't expect them to get it because they're not going to get it. They're not going to see it because God planned it to be that way so that he can get the honor, so that he can get the glory for bringing it together. This is a spiritual thing. God is bringing down his plan and his will for your life in the spiritual into the physical. He's bringing the spiritual into the physical. He's bringing his divine will and purpose for your life into the physical realm. So it's not going to look like it because it's God's doing. It's God's dealing so that he can get the honor and the glory so that he can get the credit for it. God is speaking things that are not as though they were. He is speaking it into your life. He is, he is speaking it into your life. He is bringing things that are not into physical manifestation in your life. So don't expect other people to understand your standing. Don't expect other people to be able to relate to you. I had to learn that a long time ago. They're not going to get it. They're not going to understand it. That's why God didn't call them to a kingdom marriage as far as standing for a kingdom marriage. God didn't call them. He called you. They're not going to get it. They're not going to understand it. They're going to think you're crazy until it happens. And when it does happen, God is going to be able to receive all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. So although in this season, you might look crazy, you will look crazy, trust and believe. The crazier it looks, the more impossible it looks, God is working. And he's getting ready to perform a miracle, you guys. It's going to take a miracle. God is going to have to step into the atmosphere and cause it to happen. He is going to step into the atmosphere and make it happen because he's God and he's the only one that can. Continue to stand, continue to believe, continue to take God at his word. I love you guys and I will see you the next time the Lord sends me back. Bye.